let's look at self-respect and what the inner child in us has anything to do with lack of respect and how we are treating ourselves and how uh, we build the relationship between ourselves and the inner child. Why self-respect is such a huge component when it comes to healing your inner child. So this is what we will be talking about. Hi everyone, it's Sylvia Tichina here. So, self-respect. What is it? What does that mean? What does it mean to respect yourself? Many people don't understand the concept of self-respect and they don't really... We don't tend to think about why it's so important to, to respect ourselves. Because if you are a child and if you have experienced childhood trauma, where no one respected you, where your needs were not met, where your emotions were not visible, were not important to anyone, and they were, you know, your emotional needs were not met. There was one message behind all of that. I'm not important. What I want, it doesn't matter. So, I'm unworthy. So if someone is unworthy, it means they don't deserve self-respect. They, they, they don't deserve to be respected by others. So if they're not receiving, and if I am not deserving any respect from others, how can I then respect myself? I do say to my clients very often, like, that self-respect is really important. That self-respect is one of the things that we are actually looking at when I'm working with my with my um, clients. So, but what I realize that when I say those things, you should be respecting yourself. Like when, like you know, like let's look at self-respect. Like, are you respecting yourself? Do you, like, you know, respect yourself? It doesn't really hit them like they don't really get it at the beginning and i just realized why it's because number one they don't know any other they don't know otherwise they don't know any other way to behave or to treat themselves and that's one piece but also they don't understand that why they don't respect themselves. Because maybe that childhood trauma isn't so obvious. Maybe um, it's not something that they ever thought about that, like, you know, ever. Like, so it, it wasn't even flagged to them and like, that might be actually an issue. So many people, and that was me many years ago, um, where I was very hard on myself. I was very critical, you know, towards myself. I did judge myself all the time. I was very, you know, I never felt good enough. But until I started to work on that part and heal that belief, I only then realized that I was so hard on myself and I had such a huge demands for me it was because I was trying to mask how vulnerable and how not good enough I felt. So with that, if I was pushing myself to do things, when I was very determined, when I was, you know, hard on myself and then things got com accomplished, I was left with the feeling of being proud. Yes, I did it. But it was done in a very hard way in a way that my inner child was still crying. I wasn't healing myself. I was surviving. I was in my survival mode to do anything to feel one bit worthy. And I found um, to feel worthy was when I was being perfect. So my perfectionist was one of the masks that I have created 
for masking how unworthy and how not good enough I felt. So when I heard for the first time that I'm very hard on myself, that I'm very judgmental, that like my inner child is in trouble, <laughs> I have no idea what that meant. Because that was my norm. Like that was all what I knew. That's how I survived it. So if now then someone is telling me like, mm, you should become more kind to yourself, like you should be looking more after yourself, like the way you're treating yourself isn't the healthy way. I was confused. I was so confused. I didn't understand what exactly this person is saying to me, basically. And when I was that, you know, when I started to do the healing process, when I started to heal myself, when I was working on the self care bit, which I think took me quite a long time to understand, to grasp, to, to even embrace the whole self concept, uh, the self care concept, I then, only then I realized I did what I thought I had to do to survive. And that was one of my coping skills to survive was actually perfectionist. But I was trying to be perfect. So for me to feel like I was perfect, I had to do everything by myself. I wouldn't ask for help. And I would really push myself up high. So at the end, when I was really exhausted and I had no time or no energy for anything else then I said okay now you can go to sleep now you can rest because now you earned to feel good so as you can see like even as I'm talking about this like that is already like I already feel for my inner child but you know, I was doing this like for a long time so my inner child wasn't happy. So when it comes to self-respect, when it comes to your relationship with yourself, when it comes to the projections, the, the, the survival mode, the coping mechanism, it's time for you maybe to, to just ask yourself, do you feel free? Or do you feel like you have to do something or be something or behave certain ways because on the back you're trying to mask something if that is so it means you have unhealed your inner child if that is so it means something happened in your childhood that now as an adult you may be not paying attention much to that part of yourself but that part is screaming for help. You were worthy. And so was I. It's just your responsibility right now to heal it, to work on it, to maybe try a different approach. Because no child deserves such a judgment, such a hardship, such a no one deserves that. But it's up to you how you're going to treat yourself. It's up to you whether you're going to choose to keep going or to actually change something and start to build a healthy and good relationship with yourself. So think about that. It's heavy. It's deep. But it needs to be done. If you want to be happy, if you want to have peace of mind, if you want to feel free, that's the work. That's the healing work all of us would need to do. So everyone, thank you so much for today. Think about the concept of self-respect. Are you really respecting yourself? What is stopping you from respecting yourself? Where is your inner child in all of this? You can let me know how, how it goes. Okay, so Bye.